Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In today's video, we're unboxing the Wizarding Trunks Herbology Box. I did design the packaging for this box like I do with all of their boxes. So we got some, uh, you know, sentient uh, herbs, <laughs> sentient plants coming out of the box, like tentacles and stuff, vines, mushrooms. I do have a discount code for you. So if you're gonna order the Wizarding Trunk, you can get some money off. If you use my code, Wizardry Workshop, all one word, no space. Um, so when you use that at checkout, you will get a little uh, extra money off. And I'll leave that in the comment section and in the description box. So you can just copy it and paste it. I mean, other than that, there's not, not much else I can say other than it's Herbology. And I designed the box. I designed some of the items on the inside. So we'll go over that. Maybe a little bit about the design process uh, of that. But most of the stuff I know because I did also design the cheat sheet. So yeah, let's just get into this. They send out boxes every two months and every four months. This is the bi-monthly box, every two months. Um, the quarterly box is a special edition. Anyways, let's open this up. And you can see there is a t-shirt here. The t-shirt, I already know because I designed the shirt. So let's take a look at the shirt. The front has this nice Herbology Club design on it right here with, uh, it's got a mandrake and just some plants and yeah, a carnivorous plant right here. So that's that, it says the Wizarding Trunk. That's cool, they're having it printed on there now, the Wizarding Trunk right here, very nice. And then if we flip it over, the back is where the big main design is. And it's just kind of like a bigger, more elaborate version of the front. I prefer the big design on the front and nothing on the back. That is my personal preference for t-shirts. However, um, the Wizarding Trunk um, has asked for this style of shirt with the, the front patch. I don't, I don't dislike it. It's just my preference would be the main design, the big design on the front. But that doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is this shirt is nice and soft. So let's go ahead and try this on. It, it really does feel nice and soft. Let's see how it fits. Okay, so here is the shirt. It is actually very comfortable, I will say, very soft. Um, the design on the front, I think, could have just gone ever so slightly over, like maybe a quarter of an inch because the design is going into my armpit, which, you know, it's not a huge deal, but it's just getting a little too close to my armpit. All right, the next item we have is right here. And this is Wormwood Essence Soap. I designed the packaging for this. I also designed the logo for Half-Blood Holistics right here. So um, I was going for just something that looked kind of uh, holistic, fresh, um, healthy. So I used greens and, and, and that type of stuff. And I also wanted it to look vintage and maybe even a little antique because that is what we are going for when we do Harry Potter style designs. Old, vintage looking, like even the cameras that they were using in the, in, in the Harry Potter movies, like it's supposed to take place in the 90s, but the camera that they had was from like, I don't know, the 30s or 40s or something. Um, so yeah, it's always about vintage antique. But yeah, okay, so this says, Herbalist approved the perfect soap to use after a day of repotting mandrakes. And I'm not gonna read off all the ingredients, but if you want to know them, you can pause it and read them yourself right here. I'm going to open this up. Unfortunately, it's wrapped in plastic, so that's not healthy for the environment. And then we also have the soap itself shrink wrapped in plastic. It smells a little like lime. I think that's the orange essence that's in there. I'm gonna use it because it smells good. Like it smells really good. So yeah, definitely gonna be used. This tube contains the book cover, which I am, uh, I'm gonna save that for last because I'm gonna actually have to grab the book and put it on the book and everything. So that I will set aside for last, but let's continue on. We've got this bag right here. And inside this bag is another item that I designed. So let's open it up. Ooh, hey, you know what? I don't like getting plastic bags, and I know this has nothing to do with the item, but like, 
I like that this is a Ziploc bag with this like Ziploc-y part right here that slides back and forth because I can actually reuse this bag. I can reuse it and I don't have it. I mean, it can be a storage bag, so that's awesome. But enough about the plastic bag. The actual item is, it's an apron for the greenhouse. So I did design this apron. Um, I made it look like just kind of an old canvas texture. If you look at the other side, it's just water resistant fabric. It's not canvas, but I designed it so it looks like old canvas. I figured if you are in herbology class and working in the greenhouse, it's going to be messy. It's going to be dirty. You're going to be like potting plants and plants are going to be jumping out at you and stuff like that. So I designed it to look kind of dirty and old and yeah, like this is kind of the thing. Like when you go to class, you grab an apron from the wall and put it on. So that's what I wanted it to look like. So that's what the apron looks like. It, it, it doesn't have a lot to tie around on the back. The whole design of it and the size of it is good, but I think the ties should be longer. Anyway, next we have this. So the idea behind this one was just a very simple um, pot bag. I don't know what they're called, but it's like a pot holding bag. So you put your pot inside of it. By pot, I mean a receptacle for soil. Yeah, I didn't have to do any of the like canvas design because it's already canvas. It's kind of like a grayish brown canvas. So if we open it up, it does have plastic on the inside, but that is so like if you put your pot in there, it's not going to get wet. This extra bit up at the top right here where this is kind of folds in like this and it helps it hold its shape. So when you're done, it looks like this, and then you put your pot inside there. Next, we have this Greenhouse 3 coffee and stirring set. All right. Whoa, these are really cool. A shovel and, well, they're both kind of like shovel shaped, but they're shovel shaped spoons. Try to say that five times fast. So this one is a mandrake with a very cool design going down to kind of like a square shaped shovel. And I, I really like the, uh, the color. And then the other one is a mushroom with a really cool uh, handle. And then it's kind of like a triangular shaped shovel. I don't know if I'll actually use them. They're a very nice display piece for a herbology show. Next we have the next portrait. This is a herbology box, so can you guess who, who they might represent in a herbology box? This is a really cool one. I like the frame around it. I don't use the pins, but I have a video that I'm coming out with where I show you how to transform your pins into magnets. So you can have like all of your portrait pins on your fridge, like, like a portrait wall. Next, we have this item. It is a little kind of like sprayer, whatever it's called, mister for your plants or your garden. The top is plastic, which I'm not crazy about, but um, the bottle itself is not plastic, so that's cool. And then I did design the label for it, so it's the elixir of growth. Next, we have another pin. So we have the portrait pin and there's another pin in here. So this is, it looks like a little mandrake pin. Kind of looks like a potato. Pretty cool. Um, for those of you who collect pins, there you go. Next we have a box and this box I designed. I did another box that is very similar to this one. So here it is. Um, it's, it's quite similar. This box was a mandrake. You can kind of see the blurry shape of a mandrake in there. So I went kind of the same with this one, only it's the blurry shape of something else. And here we go. 
it looks like a Christmas cactus, but it is a Mimbulus mim, mim, Mimbletonia. I can't remember exactly how to pronounce it all, but yeah, that's what it is. I think the paint job could have been improved on this item. It's very just like a flat, just standard color of green and red, and there's no shading on this at all. That's the problem is there's no shading. It's still a cool item. I don't dislike it. I'm, I'm not trying to like be negative here. And next we have this large box. What could it be? Oh man. I knew this was in here and I forgot about it, but this is so cool. It is a mushroom salt and pepper shaker set. So you can open up the bottom right there and fill it up with salt or pepper. And it has, oh man, this is so cool. This is gonna be great to bring out like for holidays and stuff like uh, Thanksgiving. If you're hosting Thanksgiving, this would be the perfect salt and pepper shaker to bring out. And no one's gonna think like Harry Potter when they see it or like whatever. It, it's just a really cool salt and pepper shaker, very vintage. This, this feels to me like something that you would get in like the 70s or something. This is so nice. I love this. Um, the only thing I will say about it is the holes on top are the same size. And I feel like the salt shaker holes maybe should be a little smaller because you don't want quite as much salt. Like you don't want to get too salty. And then we have our print which is of course the greenhouse. And you can see lots of mushrooms that look a lot like our salt and pepper shakers. This one right there. This is really cool. I think there's a bag in the back there that says dragon dung on it. Like that's their fertilizer. They fertilize it with dragon dung, which is extremely clever. I love that. It's very cool. I like the watercolor aesthetic here. And then we also have the next page in our Magical Creatures A to Z book. So this is a series. I design the pages. Um, the Wizarding Trunk writes them most of the time. We have a vampire and then we also have a Vila. So if you'd like to have a little read, it is a fully readable page. And there is the vampire page. So that's everything in the box and I didn't get a cheat sheet, so we're not gonna go over the cheat sheet, but I will put the book cover on the book. First, let's take a look. And it's upside down. So if we take a look at it right here, it is poisonous plants and where to find them. I know people have been saying that the foil is a bit too much, but for this one, it needed it, okay? It needed the foil. So this will fit book four of the UK Bloomsbury books. So here we've got my Hufflepuff edition of the Goblet of Fire right here. So here is poisonous plants and where to find them. What are my favorites? Okay, I'm gonna go over favorites. I'm gonna pick three favorites, but I'm not really gonna do least favorites. So my favorite item, for sure, the, the mushroom salt and pepper shaker set. Second favorite, and I will say that I, I can't pick the items that I designed. So second favorite is going to be the shovel set or the stirring set. And then my third favorite, this is crazy because I don't normally do this for these types of items, but it's going to be the soap because it smells really good. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorites were. Um, let me know what you thought of the box, the designs. Are you gonna be ordering the Wizarding Trunk now? If so, use my code in the description box in the pinned comment. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video with me, you're a wizard, Harry. Give the video a thumbs up down below if you did like the video. And if you're new here, subscribe for more Harry Potter DIY projects and unboxings. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.